Christensen will be sworn in today for his second term. Our Jesse Jenner has a preview of what else we can expect as the second day of the legislative session gets underway. Christensen will be sworn in to his second and final term. He will give a state of the state in the Arkansas House at 10.30 this morning, then his inaugural address on the Capitol steps at noon, all ahead of an inauguration ball. Hutchinson says the state of the state is better than four years ago when he first took office, noting lower taxes and computer science initiatives. But the governor still has one main challenge to tackle, workforce education. It doesn't take legislation. It, ta it takes changing a culture. It takes more investment, uh, recognizing that our young people need to be prepared for college. They need to be prepared, uh, many of them, for the workforce. Hutchinson says when he became governor, 54 schools didn't have access to career training centers. That number is down to 17, and he hopes to get it to zero within the next year. The legislature's work continues at the Capitol Wednesday with bills getting assigned to different committees. The governor's four main priorities are highway funding, tax cuts, teacher raises, and transformation in state government. Back to you. All right, women lawmakers are also making history this year. There are a record number of them, including an additional member of the Black Caucus, an LGBT representative, and the first women committee heads. The Speaker of the House named Representative Carol Dalby, the chair of the Judiciary Committee, and Rebecca Petty as vice chair. It's a great day, but I hope that someday we get to the point where people aren't saying it's a woman that got elected. Instead, it's the best person who was elected. Dalby is an attorney and served as a district court judge. She also appointed, was also appointed as special justice to the Arkansas Supreme Court during the Lakeview school funding case. Now, there's also a push to expand medical access to medical marijuana during the legislative session. Republican Representative Doug House's legislation would add dozens of medical conditions to the list of those that qualify patients to use medicinal cannabis. They include asthma, ADD, bipolar disorder, Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, and traumatic brain injury. It would also remove one qualifying condition, glaucoma. Still no word on when the medical marijuana will be available for sale in Arkansas. This morning, we're working to learn the name of a motorcyclist killed in a crash. Police say the motorcycle hit an 18-wheeler on Baseline Road at I-30 last night. At this time, it's not clear what caused that crash. Uh, this morning, police in Florida are looking for whoever killed an Arkansas woman. 21-year-old Destiny Dennis was shot in Jacksonville, Florida on January 4th. Her family believes the person responsible was trying to rob, rob her outside a gas station. Destiny's six-month-old daughter was with her at the time. She was not hurt. Her mother lives in Little Rock and is hoping police find the killer soon. I just wanted whoever did this to know that she's real and that you've taken that away from all of us. And it's, I don't know if we'll ever heal from that. Mother was in a wedding and that well, the case is classified as a homicide, but detectives are releasing very little information.